Hello everyone and welcome to Gyrotech. In this video, we're going to be looking at CIE, um, IGCC Information and Communication Technology, February March 2022. Um, a paper that was written um, sometime um, this month, last year, um, as of the time of this recording. Okay, um, we'll be looking at paper three website altering. Cost code is 0417 and it has only one variant for this paper. So let's begin. You have been supplied with the following source files. Uh, task 1 is evidence document which you are to create a new word process document. So um, I just want to be sure if we've created it. I'm not really sure. Okay, I thought it as evidence document. So uh, let's let's look at it. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Make sure your name, serial number, candidate number will appear on every page of this document. Okay, so I'm going to click on insert, click on the header. Okay, I'm going to put it here. E N zero seventeen, E for Jail, N for Andy, and zero seventeen. Okay, 2023. Okay. Save this evidence document in your work area as. I'm going to copy this, followed by your center number and candidate number. I'm going to click on File, click on Save As, right here, and I'm going to paste this. Um, AN 070. Obviously, in your exam, you have to put your center number underscore 2023 as my candidate number. You will need your evidence document during the examination um, to place screenshots when required. Tax to file management. Create a new folder called okay, M22 underscore HTML. So let's do that. I'm going to create a folder right here. Um, new folder. Okay, that's done. Locate the following files and store them in your M22 HTML folder. I'm just going to. Okay, this is part of it. This is, there's a video here. Okay. Right click, cut. Right click. Based. So I have it as six files. One, two, three, four, five, six. Display the content of your M22 HTML folder, showing the folder name, all file name, file extension, file sizes, image dimensions, and and for the video, the frame height and frame width. Now, um. You're wondering how do I know which is the file? Obviously, um, for a website altering, um, you just have your picture, your 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 video, your CSS, your text, and for exam sake, you can also check it with your question paper to see that that's the files you have. Okay, I'm going to make this a details, and you can see that right here I have um, banner, eagle, flag lake um, styles and text okay so i'm going to add the image dimension and i'm adding other things as well so um, let me add the dimension to it um okay i'm adding the dimensions to it so we have the dimension now for the video they want to see the frame height and frame width so i'm going to right click on it and click on sort by more we're going to look for the frame rate, the frame, the frame width, check it, and the frame height. I'm going to add it here. So obviously, this is um, this is going to be. I just want to have the width first. Uh, this is the frame width of the video. This is the frame height of the video. Okay, very important to do this. Okay. Um, Okay, now let's take a, a snipping tool.
please endeavor that your background is a dark background the white the light background not a dark background and i'm going to show you in this video how when to see to it that that is done um evidence one okay now how do you change this to a light background right here on my windows icon i'm going to go to settings i'm going to go to personalizations i'm going to go to colors and i'm going to change it from dark to light okay i want to do that everything changes okay all right tax tree web page you're going to create a web page okay and style sheet about lake navesha in kenya apologies i'm not pronouncing it properly the web page and style sheet must work in any browser make sure that your style sheet contains no html make your html and style sheet as efficient as possible create in your um, m22 underscore html folder a web page called this so i'm going to create a web page um okay let's do that by the way so i'm going to use my web expression to actually create this i don't know but probably um cost of the time i might do a video on how to explore your uh, microsoft expression web okay according to demands all right all right so um so i'm going to click on file click on save us and uh, probably i think this gets me closer to okay 22 okay i'm going to post it here you don't have to put the dot html just type only the name automatically you have it like this okay you don't have to do that okay so this web page must be created using a single table and must work in all browsers the table must be center line and fit notice the keyword there center line i'm just going to highlight it we'll come back to it and we'll fit I think I should use red. I think I use red. So it shows me that this is where I need to pay attention to. Um, of the browser window, the table must have a structure as shown in this diagram. Okay, so let's, um, I'm just going to adjust this so that we can do this. So the first thing that we know is it has to be 80%. So let me quickly do that and we'll go to tables and before i do that let's talk about all this you know like literally what you see here okay so we have the idop tab that is the document type which is html we have the html tag which is your open um tag um angle bracket which is a html and a closed one and then you have to close it so the closed tag is with a um, forward slash and then you have your elements there so we have the head tag, which is where your title is for, your meta is for, your external style sheet falls under. You have your body where you do, you carry out all your HTML activities, okay? So uh, without understanding, let's see. So obviously the table falls within the body, and that's why you're seeing the body here, okay? So um, let's create our table right now. Insert table, and we have it. It's going to feel what, 80%? You say? Yep, 80%. Um... So we have one, two, three, four, four rules. Okay, one, two, three, four, four rules. Um, and one, two, two column. Okay, so without understanding, is in percentage, and we can proceed. But let's check the set. Each table is identified with the leader. Some dimensions are shown. This must be set. This must be set as presented values. Do not set the height notice it said do not set the height of cells in b c d or e and literally we don't even do that okay literally we don't even do that okay if you're watching my videos i don't even talk about the height because in percentage you don't talk about the height obviously they are now specifying that okay um this the cell content shown the diagram must not appear 
on your final web page. Table borders must appear. Okay, I'm gonna put this in red. Okay, must appear on your final web page. So I've set the title of the web page. So finally, we have in this. Okay. I'm just quickly good. Yeah. Obviously, if you're watching my video, my video has a title. Okay, it has a title. So if the title falls under the title, or you right click here on your page property, you can actually put the title here. There are two methods to do this, okay? So that makes it super easy for you. Okay? Alright. So let's let before we proceed to so many fun activities that'll be done in this video. So let's talk about um the first thing we have to match, so match talks about collections of cells seen as a single cell, okay? And at this point, this is what we call a uh, column span, okay? Because we're merging uh, more than one column. But right here, we have it as a row span because we are highlighting and merging more than one row, okay? Okay, you, you good? Claire? Okay, let's move ahead, all right? So, um... I'm going to, we can split it so you see what I'm doing. So I'm going to click here, right? And I'm going to highlight these two, these two cells. Highlight it, right click on it, click on modify, click on merge. You can see that the colon span. Okay, let's move on. I'm going to merge this. That's what we show. Yep. Now you can see that it is selected. Right click on it, click on modify, click on merge, and now we have it at the row span. And this is falling under the second row. Okay. Um, okay, I think I think we're good. Okay, so let's start setting the dimensions real quick. Um, so we have the height. They said we should not set the height of a cell B. C, D, or E. Okay, nothing was said about for A. So yeah, we can go ahead to set it. Okay, so obviously the um, I can decide to not set the width because obviously the width is going to be hundred percent. Okay, the width of the table is going to be hundred percent. So I can decide not to set it. Okay, because at the end of the day, it has to fall within that. Okay, so um, I'm going to right click on it, click on cell properties, and I will just focus on the height. Which is twenty percent, okay? Because obviously the cell of the weight is going to be hundred. I'm going to apply it, but since they're saying it, I'm just going to add it as well because obviously they're going to look for it in the code, okay? But obviously there's no need for that, all right? So I'm going to do that. So for the sake of the HTML code, I need it to be there, all right? For B, we have the width as 65%, which is right here, right click, cell properties, the width is going to be 65%, you're going to apply it, okay, and now you can see this is applied. Although you, you notice that in my previous videos, you see that in pixels, um, the, the cell adjusts to the size given, but in percentage it doesn't, right? So don't panic. When you're making the changes and you're not seeing the cell reflecting what you're making, don't panic at all, okay? All right. Uh, the width here, C, is right click, cell properties. The width here is 35. percent. Okay. And you can now see the adjustment being made. For other ones, the width here and here is the same. So um, I'm going to apply it for D and E as well. So I'm going to click on cell properties. The width is going to be what? 65% as well. I can just do this. I like the both of them. Right click. Um, click on cell properties. Okay. Give a width to it, 65%. Okay. Now, the and NBSP, 
and the semicolon means space. The and NBSP means space. Okay. All right. Set in the HTML the name of the default target window itself. Okay, so let's quickly do that. It's one mark, so let's do that. So I'm going to click on design and I'm going to right click, go to my page, and right here on the default target frame, which they said set the name of the d default target window. So um, the d default target frame is going to be um, self. So that is. Um, same frame underscore self which is same frame i'm going to click on okay okay now if i go to my code you see it on the head and it's going to be base target equals to in quotes underscore self okay and then you have forward slash and then you have it okay and you have your angle bracket okay place in cell a the image so a right there in image so let me place it now i'm going to be using the code view mostly for my images listen of images video so just stick around with me okay so i'm going to move the space by the way all right and i'm going to click here there are two ways to go about this right here or you click on insert and then you can do pictures so whichever method you want to use okay let me just use this um let me look for um 2022 so this is going to be banner okay this is going to be what i'm just going to switch this to open it banner of link banner of lake na near Russia okay um, just an alternative text nothing really special right here now here I'm going to click on space I'm going to add a style now I want to be sure they said but I know they're going to ask, place an inline style attribute into a HTML so that the image fits the width of the table cell with its aspect ratio maintained. So we're going to add an inline style and I'm going to click on equals to the width of it. It's going to be 100% so that it fits within the cell width. Okay. Now I'm going to right click and save it and I'm going to preview this in my Chrome. And then see it stays right so this is a 80% of the window so if I just adjust it it stays 80% of it okay it stays 80% of it huh? now the set B I'm looking at B um, for B the a video tag to display this video so that it fits the weight of the cell Display an automated text based error. Now, probably this was something we missed in our previous video, although I had to do a second video for it, but I need to show you how to do this in this video. Okay, so now pay attention as we're going to add the video. Okay, so normally uh, what you do is um, in cell B, um, so obviously this is going to be um, cell B, right? I just want to check um, cell B, yes, that is cell B. Okay, just want to check. Um, so obviously, I'm going to go to the code, and what you normally do is you click inside, click media, scoop Windows Media, but we're just going to write a code for it. Okay, we're going to write a code for it. So I'm going to do this. Okay, hit an enter, right? And on this cell, I'm going to use the video tag. Okay, so we have my video tag, and I'm going to add what we call the controls because we want to have the controls in the video. And then I have um, my source, okay, and my source is gonna be what my source is gonna be the video. So, what I'm gonna do is this 
um, I'm going to right click this. I'm going to really copy this, copy the content right here. And I'm going to right click, go to properties. I want to check what kind of file is it. So the type of the file is MP4. Okay. So this is MP4. So I'm going to do this um, source. I'm going to put this dot MP4. And I'm going to make the type to be what? In the video. So what type of video is it? It's MP4. Okay. So MP4. And then I'm going to close this. Okay. Now, I'm going to save this to show you something. Save. But now again, the error message. So the error message is going to be what? Um, to display automated text based error message if the browser does not support this video type. So for apparently, um, I will just put browser does not support this video type. Copy. So I'm going to put it right here. Okay, um, all right, so I'm going to go to my Chrome. Now watch, so we have it here. Okay, let's play it. You can see this, right? It's playing. Okay, and you can decide to launch it in any. Let me do it again. Go. Let me preview it in my, um, my Microsoft Edge. You can see that the controls are here. You can decide to make it a full screen. You can, you know, you can, it's a whole episode of it. And this is actually really cool, knowing the code for it. So let's, um, now what I'm going to do right here is just go back here. I'm going to go to my video and I'm going to add a style equals to the width. The width of it is going to be 100%. Okay, so I'm going to save it, right click, save. Now when I come to my code, it fits within that cell. Okay, so it's now, it's now fitted uh, into that cell that we, have, uh, that we have assigned, which is the width of what, 6 to 5. Okay, alright, so let's move on. Hope you're having fun with this. Um, C is the image M22 Eagles. That's what see right there. So let's. Um, obviously, your design right here is not going to show, but don't panic. It is what it is. Okay, you. It's right there in your in your browser. It's showing in any browser. It's going to show. So don't panic. Okay. So right here, we we'll switch to our code, and um, I'm going to include that picture. Click on it, and this is the eagle. So. I'm going to type eagle right there because that's what I can think of and um, okay I'm going to fit it style the width is 100% I'm going to save it and I'm going to do this so we have this fitted okay so it's still within if we do this it's still staying within it okay and that's what they want okay so let's go ahead mm. please okay we've done that add appropriate alternative text to both images and we have done that now in cell d where is cell d that's cell d okay we're going to um Please, uh, please insert the text from the file. So let's get it from the file um, right here. Okay. So I'm going to right click, select all, copy. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to go right here. Cell D. Looking for cell D. Okay. I want to be sure that cell D. Nope. That is my video. This should be cell D. Yes, this is cell D. Okay. I'm going to take this off. Literally take it off. And I'm going to paste this here. Now, what do we do? We said, set this text as a paragraph. So I'm going to highlight everything here. 
and I'm going to set this as a paragraph. Now, if you come to the code view, it is now a paragraph. Enter in CLD the text edited by okay I think I'm going to do this here your name agile in the comma en 017 comma 2023 right click save set this as style history okay so obviously to do this you have it right here i'm going to switch it to history and then you have history inside the td okay create your hyperlink from the text click here to open a web page so let's look Look for it, click here to open a web page. Okay. Oh, they said create a hyperlink from the text. Click here. Notice the difference. This is italic, so this is the emphasis. This is what we need to um, create a hyperlink on, right? Because obviously, this is different from the text. This is um, all, um, these are all normal okay um um characters but this has been added and formatted which is italics so we'll see that the emphasis on it so what we're going to do is um we're going to highlight just this okay right click on it click on hyperlink okay so what i did saying to open a web page with the url so obviously we're, we're going out from the web page I'm going to copy this so it's going to be existing file or a web page I'm going to this is okay okay in the new browser window called blank so target frame new window yes in the new window called blank okay and then i'm going to okay this okay so if we go to the code we have um, the anchor tag your href and then the href this is the url and this is the target the target is going to be equals to in code underscore blank for click here okay attach the style Okay, let's attach the style. I'm going to save our work. And right here, I'm going to click design and attach the style sheet. There are two ways of easily do this. Actually, you could do it right here, or you could go to format and then go to CSS style and you can attach it. Okay. Click on browse. So I want to be sure this is M22 styles. Okay. So I'm going to open it. Okay and um, create a new style sheet okay so we'll create the new style sheet okay it's fine so let's check what we have done okay so um this is what we have so far so good uh, not bad okay not bad we have the video playing right here okay so um we're just almost done because if we go back to this the emphasis is table borders must appear on the final web page so let's create a new style sheet so how do we do that uh, click on file click on new and then click on file click on new and then we'll click a css okay so we have this right here the table is center aligned within the browser window. Is this center aligned? No. So what we're going to do right here is this. So right here, we're going to click on new style, table. Then we're going to go to box. Right here on margin, 
center line means um, you want the table to be center. So you have your margin left to be auto, your margin right to be auto. So when um, it's here and here, it's going to be here. Okay. All right. So the margin left is going to be auto. Margin right is going to be auto. I'm going to apply it. All table must have all table cells have padding set to 10 pixels. Okay, all table elements have spaces between the border set to 10 pixels. Okay, so for table spacing, that's for border, right? So, all, now I want to explain this your padding is your TD. Okay, it's for your TD. Internal borderline are your TD. Those are the only two things that falls under your TD. The rest falls on your table. Okay, so um, cell spacing um, have the spaces between the borders set to 10 pixels. So um, border spacing is going to be um, 10 pixels. I'm going to apply it. What else? The top margin above the table is set to 170 pixels. Top margin above the table okay is set to what 173 all right um your name and style sheet um is set as a comment okay so uh, let's go okay the next one is um all tables so have a padding so padding and internal grid lines are for td okay so you need to know that so td um, border okay for padding So this should be, should be, I think it should be box. Yes, so for padding, all table set, um, all table cells have padding set. All table cells, so both top right, all of them have it. Um, okay, so yeah. Okay, uh, so make sure your style sheet contain no HTML scripting language. Save the style sheet in your um, M22 folder. Okay, we need other name. Your name, set a number, candidate number as a comment at the end of the style sheet. Okay, so okay, at the end of the style sheet, say yes. Let me do that. Okay, zero seventeen, comma twenty twenty three. Save this style sheet in your um, M22 folder in the cascading style sheet format. M22 styles, styles2 underscore, followed by your center number, a candidate number. Okay, I'm just going to save this. Save as EN017 underscore 2023. Save it. Attach the style to a web page so it has a higher priority than the one attached in style. In attached in step eleven, I'm going to click on save. Right here, I'm going to attach it. Okay, so automatically we are attaching this. It automatically has a higher priority than the other one. Okay, now this is what happens, guys. Check your coding, and then you're going to see that. The second link is here, which has the higher priority than that. Now let's go to, let me save it. Let me right click. Okay, this is. Guys, let me check something. I think something is off. Let me check. Um, 
Let's go to the staff. So they said all table is center line. I just want to check. Table is center line. Yes, it is. Okay, we're good. Um, what else? Um, cell spacing, 10%, border spacing. We're good. All table margin has the spacing between the borders. That's 10%. Self padding, 10%. Okay, done. The top margin above the table. The top margin, not top position. Okay, top margin. For the life of me, um, let me click on modify. Guys, not top position. Okay, we have um, box. Top margin is what the top margin is what is set to 173. 173. Okay, yeah, the top margin knew something was off. That is why it's important to learn it. Okay, know which one is top position, know which one is top margin because if you don't know the difference, you might think you've done a good job and you might just lose a math. So, this is what it is. So, this is looking good. Okay. Uh, so yep, this is what we want and if you check your right here you will see that this is what we really want so now this is the cell the cells padding the 20% spaces between them and that is what we want for the text um, 20% as much as possible okay so we're good to go um so yes um uh, the table we set line is 80 percent of the web page so even when we do this it still fits even when we okay so okay the borders table border must appear on the final web page it has appeared on the final web page um uh, it's important to always go through take a screenshot to show the finding and all content of your style sheets and place this in your evidence document. So what I'm going to do right now is they want to see this. So I'm going to wait, 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 to Okay, no. Okay. I slip into It's important that Guys, I'm going to save this. Okay. I want to save this. I'm going to take it again. Okay. This is going to be what? Evidence 2. Okay. Save your web page. Take a copy of your HTML source code and place this in your evidence document. This is going to be evidence three. Okay, evidence three right here. So I'm going to come right here. Um, switch to my code and I'm going to right click select all right click copy okay I don't want it to be bolded right click paste this as a plain text highlight it okay remove space after paragraph Okay, so we have um, evidence three. So obviously, this is going to be evidence four. Okay. So display your web page in the browser if necessary. Resize it so that all the pages can be seen. All tests can be easily read. The address bar is visible. Take screenshots showing your web page in the browser, please this in your evidence document.
take screenshot of your web page in the in the browser with the table content and background element clearly visible okay guys clearly visible it's so specific it has to be clearly visible um okay this is a no no trying to see if this you know what let me do this um, I'm trying to see the best possible way I can do this um, no not this um, I'm looking for a better way the tax bar yeah, the behavior automatic height. Maybe that works for me. Okay, just maybe it works. So, um, let me take my screenshot. Okay. This is going to be what evidence for, right? So I'm going to paste this here. Matter of fact, I'm just going to no, no, something in right. We forgot this, guys. This is why it's important to always uh, check. Still something in right. Good. Okay. So I'm going to take it again. Okay. So, um, I think one of the challenging part is your ability to take this kind of screenshot um, because it's important you know how to do it. Literally important to know how to do it properly. Okay. Now remember that I said screenshot evidence of the web page in the browser with the table content and background clearly uh, elements clearly visible. It has to be very clearly visible. So now we have this. So what do we do? So let's start copying. I'm gonna go to my picture. We're actually done guys so you could um but if you want to stay to watch how this happens that would be really cool so i'm going to okay and here's well i'm going to put this as square so I can attach this. So obviously they know this is a perfect work. So obviously they know this is what they want, and the picture is clear. Uh, although the pigeon head is not showing well, but they get it right. So this is actually real cool to do. So I'm going to click here, hold my control, click here as well, 
while holding my control then i'll release it i'm going to go to group now we have this image as one now i want to show you i just want to show you this is a real cool magic trick so i can actually move it around move it around yeah okay okay yeah so okay i can put it here oh no what just happened i can move it as one okay so be careful all right so um yep yeah, we've come to the end of it and um i'm going to save the next thing is printing of the evidence document which is what i've been doing in all my web page videos so stay with me let's just print the evidence document um so this is going to be print out five please make sure your name center number candidate number appears on every page of your evidence document and please for christ's sake okay okay please and please ensure that you print your work to pdf now the only essence of pdf is i just want to make sure this is super clear you know yeah good this is good let me see the only essence of pdf is to ensure that um you have your work the way it is um when it's being sent to the printer because see you, you don't want to um okay just okay let me start it if you don't know how to print you click on file click on print and sure this is i have so many printers here but ensure it is set to microsoft print to pdf okay or pages as well and of course it has to be info or depending on the people you use it um so i'm just going to put it to um 20 22 oh boy. okay i'm just going to take this off created a short code i don't want that for by much yeah that's what i need to see yeah i'm going to create right here bring that five now when you come here you can go to your printouts and take a look at all your printouts please put them in pdf okay and then you can take a look at, at your printouts to see what you have done okay i think i'm going to take it obviously i want the body to be here um so i'm just going to do that right now and this is possible by seeing this in the printout so i would prefer this to be here right um okay i'm just going to take it again um save click on file click on print i'm just going to replace old one you can leave it like i said there's no crime to it but you know me i just want my work to be exceptional and perfect and easy for my examiners um to mark and this is what i convey to all my students to ensure that your work is as flawless as possible to make it easier for your examiner to just mark and just give you a star okay and give you your full mark so please yes and that is it please print your work to pdf it will save you the stress to know exactly what your work is so you just send in your printouts send in your printouts in, P in pdf and it's easier for your teacher to just print it the way that you have seen it okay so yes we've come to the end of this video and please it's important that well uh um, subscribe right right here gyro tech right please subscribe to my youtube channel it's loaded with amazing stuff trust me it is everything that um every igcc ict student need to have a fantastic result okay see you in my next video bye